Ten seconds remaining. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what is, I believe, our fourth game of the Five day here on line three. Remaining. Team Secret once again making return this time around up against Virtus Pro. Should be another good one. And it was Dragon Drop. I'm joined by my packs. Are you done feeding Twitch chat? Ricky Dota's dead, dude. <laughs> it's over, man. It's banned every game. <laughs> have we had a Ricky today? I don't think we have. Team Secrets. Nope. Turn Not to yet. Ban. And every game, but then there goes the Elder Titan for Team Secret, and then of course Timber Saw as well. Something they shred through those open qualifiers, as we've discussed a couple times already. Now, the question being the IO, the first pick going to VP. Do Team Secret want to leave it in and assume that they can get the more powerful 2 3 pick with the IO? That is the question. Um, and then there's still the question of Phoenix and Master, and what else? Huh. First bird being taken out, so not gonna no. see that again at the very least. Axie at first pick for the VP, it's obviously one of Yoku's uh, go-to heroes, 8 and 3 here in the last month. Pretty good quarter. Other heroes would be, uh, for lower dance, Slark, Queen of Pain, even Lion actually. It's here it has fallen off for some teams, for others, Ten not so much. Remaining. Something that you may be looking for for FNG later, depending on how the draft goes. Uh, Team Secret they have plenty of options now, uh, despite the Elder Titan and stuff like that being banned out. You can still go for Voids. Uh, any sort of Team void combo, I would have said with the Phoenix, but Witch Doctor also works in that same kind of sense. I like that Witch Doctor. That is kind of interesting. Like, uh, opening right up with a Witch Doctor versus a Darkseer, so... Out of support that you typically see versus the Darkseer, first off, remaining. right? Uh, yep. Doesn't really have any special powers up against Aldic's okay, but it's more Five so some Tide Hunter or something. Um, in terms of like combinations, they typically oh, go into like a weaver, I believe. And oh, okay, oh. they're just, it, just the that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, this, that counters out the tide under for themselves. So I guess this is an opener. They've actually run quite a bit. It looks, and then moving that into several different drafts this is just kind of like their staple two three. But interesting that they're not valuing the IO here. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, it's, it's a bit odd. It's been most bent for VP as well. So they, they kind of took a chance letting remaining. it through. Circuit doesn't seem interested just yet. I mean, pretty sure it's gonna Reserve be picked time. up if it's not banned in the second phase, though. Well, anyone with the dark seer, you can kind of you can argue with him, kind of initiating, get the extra help, and relocate in, stuff like that. So, there's many ways you can um, build the, any sort of IO plus one into the, the both of these lineups right now, obviously. Still early on the draft. Yeah, they're probably just considering, do we want to go for the Disruptor right now against that Tidehunter? Uh, and then, do we then mean that we don't have to ban out the IO, we just like, have it? Or are we just going to take IO right now, and then Disruptor getting banned Disruptor. and giving Tidehunter free reign? Yeah, so, Disruptor is just like, it's so good. It's like the only way to stop Kraken Shell unless going with like a... Yeah. Constantly reapply to silence, making sure the Tidehunter cannot push anything, anything off. Alright, second phase, Ten Void still in the pool, IO, Beastmaster, very popular heroes, then and we haven't even talked about mids yet. Uh, Invoker, those. Death Prophet, definitely uh, the big one here, I would say. I'm. Uh, they do the switch up, right, for a secret. I believe it's Envy that actually plays the Death Prophet, and then they'll head into like an Arteezy Slark they've done before. Yep. So, we'll see, like, there's the Death Prophet, or rather the. Uh, Bounty Hunter being banned out right up, so another combo with the Darks here that goes with the Ricky being banned out already. Um, Ember, or the Earth Spirit too, so Night Stalker is the last like really big one, which is gone for. Uh, the other one would be their Spear Breaker do with the Darks here. Oh, yeah. oh, in fact, they've actually been running that two hours ago. They ran it today. It's like... I'd love to see that. I always love Spear Breaker games. Tend to be so, so entertaining every single time. It's a great way to pressure the mid too when the uh, Earth gets banned out. The other one would be like the Tusk, but not a hero that we've seen VP pick up. Uh, it's just nice because you get the invincible. Remaining. Can uh, make sure it won't be interrupted, much like the uh, the Spearbreaker, of course, having that problem. The global reach of him makes it a little bit better. On top to take an out, so a little bit stabilized in mid if we're just pro wanted to go that route. Putting on pressure from with that kind of hero. It doesn't gel as nicely with like a team fight that Darkseid and Disruptor can already provide, but turn to I like the... helps the rest of the team just with the bounty track goals, but it does make sense to some degree. 
I like the Venge ban. I think Venge is like the new opener for Drow and Terrorblade. I, I think it's the one that you want for both of those combinations. Obviously, Drow is the, the more classic one, but that big save potential on the Terrorblade is massive. Yep. And we all know the VP also love their eventual spirit. It's just like the Spirit Breaker. It's a hero that that's something they've just never let go of from patch to patch. So, no real surprise there. And then the Life Sealer ban out as he slips into the second phase that doesn't make to the third. So the Death Prophet becomes the Pested Hero. Seen it for VP, I think. I think Team Secret will opt for something else. Still the invoker in the pool. Artis, the one of his uh, all played heroes. And Nigma, though. For oh, the we're okay. back, baby. Tide Hunter oh, and Nigma. Yeah. Been a while since we've been seeing this one come out, but Puppy Dota not hopping onto his axe this time. It's going to be a classic hero, which he loves. Interesting thing here is that they did actually also run the Nick menu offlane uh, every remain. once in a while. But in this game, Titan will probably still have a better time there. Well, obviously being one of the most efficient junglers in the game. Well, even before the Iron Talon, right? Yeah. The Iron Talon's kind of uh, closed the gap for a lot of heroes. But... Alright, VP, now they have the option to go for that Death Prophet combo up a lot of damage here between the Darkseer combo and the Disrupt the Static Storm. I kind of imagine if they want that, uh, this, uh, the Death Prophet, you'd be thinking towards like an Oracle or some other sort of a saving hero. Yep. Because Tidehunter and Enigma, oh. they go with the Doom. They they really want to hate this Tidehunter. <laughs> hate Tide also, want to hate Enigma. It's, yeah. it's pretty, pretty good. It's, it's going to be the full position roaming Doom, right? So, do you see him spending some time uh, just trying to annoy the Enigma in the dive side jungle? Ten seconds remaining. So just too dangerous. Uh, it's a good question, right? Because with the Witch Doctor, it depends on what the core is for Team Secret and how much help that they might need versus the Darkseer. Like, what's left? anti darks here there's the dp so they'll just i mean once you have enigma tidehunter there's only so many doom targets you can go for but their last hero and so that is going to be for envy i wonder what arteezy would play i mean the slark's still there anti mage is there but not really known for um planks is there but again not really a big hero i think what this hero is that can actually deal with the iron shell there's not that many that are left that he plays Reserve time. Weaver, I guess, was alright. Oh, uh, yeah. Anything really that farms, because the, the mo big emphasis, I think, will be on the heroes that have already been picked up. And whatever hero they pick up last is just going to be late game insurance, I think. So, might even still see that kind of um, anti mage, which is maybe not ideal against like Disruptor Doom. Maybe stuff like a Spectre, just to uh, come in and make you still make use of the ultimate, still contribute to the team fight, but outside of that, still keep farming if it's not necessary. Be an option the team secret is looking for here. Well, oh, VP thinking about their mid lane, I'm sure. Trying to decide what they want to throw up against this Death Prophet. Not going to get the most help. Doom could come in and give him a hand, but it's the Radiant side, so you'll feel a little bit uh, safer. The ganks aren't going to be real. It's just an Enigma Witch Doctor, so you can get away with something a little bit greedier like that Invoker. And uh, you start to think about how this game's going to play out. Early mech on the Darkseer, early Vlads, or possibly even the drum still on the Doom. So some push potential with like a DK who's kind of fallen off, but then your DK versus Death Prophet, which is awful. It's good here to try and burst through these Tidehunters uh, and Death Prophets. So another few heroes that G have has played in mid outside of the Death Prophet itself. Uh, Shadow there's... Fiend all time, which is probably not quite in the meta, but Ten seconds the Viper actually recently, 2 and 2, is it something that they can consider here just to try and screw with the Death Prophet? Remaining. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, low cooldowns aren't the worst idea though, up against Titan or Enigma, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's also rather tanky up against magic damage, so it's even with like the Ravage or the BKB. Oh, no, no. The black hole, one of those spells. It's not quite as easy to bring down. I think Again, I would ban the physical damage from Witch Doctor and Death Prophet, so that sends something tanky with a lot of armor, like uh, like the DK. Wow. Uh, okay. Ban the Pugna. Uh, I almost would consider banning like a Tinker here. Tinker? Do you use Tinker safe lane? Yeah, why not? No, for um, VP. For VP, I meant, okay. Uh, yeah. Like, I'm surprised Tinker, I'm surprised the Team Secret banned out the Pugna. I like a, a G Tinker could be like. Oh. 
Five just something that they've gone to in kind of these more clutch scenarios. They haven't whipped it out yet today, but could be the time. It looks like they played the Pugna last so game, so there you go. I mean, they ran on this exact <laughs> draft. Um, same okay. sort of a uh, Ursa You're Pugna, and the same ideas behind a lot of these heroes, but they'll ban out the Arteezy Weaver as predicted. That would have been a very solid hero to match up with their current lineup. We'll see if we end up getting like an Arteezy Clinks or something here, but maybe it'll just be the Slark to finish off. Um, Pretty good against the Ursa for like general fighting, but he can't man fight, so he would require like some sort of a stun or a lockdown. Alchemist. Yes, all right. How Alch are we not? How, how did we not think of the G Alchemists? I don't know. I think it's just like he needs a lot of time. Like it's kind of like the Tinker. I just feel like Tinker is better in this scenario because they don't have a lot of catch. Find him out. It would have been like a Tide Hunter and Enigma on massive cooldown, so I'm kind of surprised. But the the overall wave clear isn't that fantastic early on, right? For Team. It's okay, but in terms of split push potential, when you get into that radiance, you have a decent time for G. Reserve time. Even though he's immediately here up against the Death Prophets, uh, I'd run into some issues with the Spurt Siphon, but there's not actually a whole lot of ro uh, rotating heroes on the side of Team Speak. I guess Enigma, now, uh, once, you have to, uh, once you get a couple of levels, once you have the Black Hole, you can smoke up, then you usually look towards an off lane, so it's a bit better to uh, wrap around to the back lines. Then Alchemist, he can make use of his essence spray. It can help in mid, as, as per usual. I wonder if Safe Lane Invoker wouldn't be the worst thing here. Then again, the Ember Spirit is like really good. Other than uh, I like the Invoker a bit more. I mean, it's, it gives you a lot more control up against yours as well. Just try and keep him lifted up in the air. Again, yeah, they already have a lot of control with Titan and Enigma. Then, then you need a little more. Well, so Invoker could provide that with a quasi sword. Or that the clings that you mentioned would also come to mind. Say that. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see him move on to something else, or, or potentially, depending on what the hero is, they could still just give it back to Envy, even though he has been playing most of the Death Prophets lately. Wow. Okay. That is interesting. That's something on TZ plays. I don't believe I have seen him on that recently. And Looks like they're not sure either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like arguing, hey, I don't want to play Zero. Play Death Prophet. No, I want to play Death Prophet. Uh, it's not Overwatch. You can't have two Death Prophets, guys. So just decide. Okay, it's Envy and a DB. That's easy morphling. All right. Nice lap. Nice. Yes. All right. I believe I could see that. Uh, in terms of the drafts overall, yeah, uh, I kind of like Team Secrets only because I've, it's something I've seen them do so many times before, like the double bubble in terms of whole Enigma plus Tide Hunter things. Something that a lot of teams saw success with uh, near the post or like pre Shanghai Shanghai era. We saw the power of this combination. Oh, thanks to the pause, guys. Yeah, predictions. Yeah, predictions, predictions here. Uh, total magic of damage. I want to say Yoku. I think it's pretty physical, and he does have the Iron Shell. With most Roshan kills, uh, I don't know, Ursa, so... BP? Magic or pure damage, that's kinda hard, I guess. Yoku. Yeah, everyone else could doing either just a little bit of magical burst, or just not a whole... Maybe just a little bit here on, on the Kapoon cells. What about the Enigma? The, the Enigma, I mean... Enemy heroes, he's not gonna be able to do... A, he's not gonna do a whole lot, because he's gonna spend a lot of time farming. Everything's just gonna be Dox here being annoying with the Iron Shell. That's kinda what I was thinking, yeah, like, <laughs> that's the best bet. Uh, team with the most Roche kills. Play it to well, probably VP. I mean, dagger. you have to give it to the Ursa, right? Yeah, absolutely. Then again, if you think it's gonna win. interesting in the back. Mm -hmm. Double wards. The whole game, though. Yeah. I'll die for the Observer wards, maybe? Facing them a lot? Uh, he did last game. Let's go pile line. First play to pile tag. It's a bit more more tricky. Titander doesn't actually want to pick it up early, neither does the Enigma. I'd say Aloha Dance. Dance, yeah. It's really the only option. Oh yeah. Is it a but yeah, it's A is gonna get the farm too. Doxy also wants a mech link and whatnot. Mech I'm having a hard link. time with this Roche kill, man. Like Secret are gonna contest it. And they have pop yeah, I'm going with Secret. Doing it. I think they're gonna win. Different. I think they're gonna secure the Roshans because they know how important it is against Ursa, and they might get the first one for VP. But in the end, leaving. 
Now they do the death. I, I don't know. I'm going for VP just because they. They might be able to sneak it in like one or two more times, one or two extra times. Leave. All right. Fourth game of the day here. We've been going for more than four hours here. My name is Dragon Jump. I'm joined by more packs. These are the teams on the die side. We've got Team Secret, Eternal Envy, and not getting the bounty runes, so there's that. But mid Bulba on that offlane Titan that's being helped out a little bit by Puppy on the Enigma. Lane, we've got Pyla, Dyer, and Witch Doctor supporting the one and only Arteezy on that morphling. Alright, and right inside, it's a Yoku in the offlane on his Darks here. One of the more popular heroes here. He's moved back to his fame role of the offlane, and then G gonna be mid on the Alchemist, another thing he's played quite a bit of. F and G gonna be on that overall Doom. A little more farm than usual. A lot of dance gonna be on Ursa, and typically your four player on the Earth Spirit, it's gonna be no fear on the five Disruptor here. Try and zone out Bulbo. Oh, he's trying to rest him out, of course. Four hours in, guys, all right? Just give us a break here. I was up at 4.30 for this. I'm not even done after this. I know, so much more to go. We I get a small break that you don't, though. I'm continuing right on this line, so I don't know. Kind of up in the air this, with this kind of format. Three games going on at the same time in the same region. They do kind of spread it out for teams a bit, so they also have a bit of a break in between. But sometimes yeah. there's one game still going on with another team. Just inevitable. Well, lanes are pretty much going as expected, right? Nothing too crazy is going to happen. Mid lane's going to be mostly a wash. Uh, pretty hard to bring down the Alchemist without a lot of help, and we talked about how they drafted an Enigma and a Witch Doctor, so not going to be a big concern for them. And then the real question becomes, like, how are they going to race that timing of the Radiance, and how much pressure can they put on them? Because you got to think Aloha Dance is going to be creating quite a bit of space here, as they definitely have some real kill potential on Bulba here as well, with the Kinetic Field and just being an Ursa with the Fury Swipes and Anchor Smash, not able to do all too much against them. Very really good point. Normally, Titan's up against any super melee here, especially. Tries to bring him down early. Once you hit level 3, level 4, you're gonna have 2 points up in Kraken, 2 points up at the Anchor Smash. That's so much damage reduction on the right clicks uh, coming into you. Ursa kind of offsets that to some degree with the Pure Swipes to mention. And then there's the Glimpse back for to get the opportunity for even more of those in. To keep an eye on that, Bulba. Thanks, safe enough for the time being. He also has Puppy close enough that he can maybe rotate in once he gets maybe Alphys. Envy, DD run active, but he's being run down. Early point Not too hard. Concoction. That's gonna get them the first blood, even though we don't get the announces. The creeps finish that one off. The result is still Envy dying first in this game. Yeah, 158 gold heads over to our Doom, so pretty nice Rain? for him. I don't actually have to glimpse out. Okay, so Bobo is fine. Still level 1. Oh, he's level 2. Oh, he went for the connect field. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? You set up the uh, Fury Swipes and the Overpower, but... They're looking to set up mid once again here, and again, the point that they do have that early concoction, and not even going for the, like, typically you'll see 2-1-1 one, one when you see going for the greed and able to get Oh, yeah. This top oh, lane, he's still taking a beating from these iron shells. Pass, not bouncing back, has some other deck on top of him. Has to pop up himself in the midst of that to get a little bit of extra healing out, but he's kind of in a bad position. Should be able to track him down here with Pilot Dive blocking that particular part of the air. Has another search available, though. And no more waveform for a TZ, just just a couple of mana short. This so next rotation in Yoku should be fine. Actually, they're still chasing him. That was pretty smart. He was hoping that Yoku yeah. would be denying himself camp. He's trying to land up to the new creeps. Thankfully, uh, in, the in the small camp, thankfully, they were stacked. Dope Shield's uh, not saving his life long enough for uh, yeah. <laughs> punish that. Like G will get the rune secured here thanks to FNG, so nice little play there as Pilot Eye comes in Maledict. But... Pilot Eye, is he dead here? That's, that's... Yeah, the Scorch Earth boots Doom. Last crit, early crit creep. So frustrating. <laughs> yeah, you, you do so much damage to Doom. Like, yeah. no Orb of Venom or anything required, just brown boots. <laughs> what a hero! No items at all, you can just build his tranquils if you'd like, but uh, still very important they saved up the rune. I didn't check, was it a bounty? It was a bounty. Life is good for G. Gotta imagine he'll be let Radiance build. 
for Alchemist to for the most standard thing to get your farm up and running. And uh, Bulba, having a decent time down here. He's only level 4 though, so like barely had a no fear. And in that sense, maybe not going all too well. But the fact that he is at least like contesting, pulling the wave, trying to interrupt something the low on dance is doing, but will he pay for it here is the question. I have the glimpse too. The fear is stacked up, a low dance looking for more, but TP in from Pilot Island to try and turn this around. Another over power comes up, a low dance starting to drop low. It'll be enough to at least keep it away. It does still have itself so once the smell dick ticks out. Should be able to do that. Yeah, we uh, we did not respect turn lanes, by the way, in our predictions in the oh, yeah. siphon. I uh, I was anticipating more iron shell harass, but it's it might by, uh, it's by twenty five minutes though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think Envy's actually gonna win that one, but oh yeah, well, what can you awesome. do? Minutes. <laughs> so funny, it just comes up. All right, there we go. There's the iron shell damage. It's back up. Artizi is getting the business from Yoku. Oh, Artizi Yoku? Possible? Oh. Puppy Doesn't go for the right one. Doom G pops his ultimate here, but they might barely have enough damage for a spirit siphon going out. Fire. Action Smell everywhere. Now look at a bit of a turtle. Another spirit siphon onto G. Second up, not careful out too much about that for a while. Look at these coming in. Yeah, no stout shield. I mean, FNG Takes pays a little bit of damage, but... Actually killed on the Witch Doctor, so... Oh, uh, FNG? Greedy? <laughs> and uh... he just switching in mana? Gonna <laughs> <laughs> stick around. Uh, does have the Tranquil Boots to work with. It's gonna take a while, as he's already sitting at a thousand health points at level 5 without the Scorched Earth going to heal him back up further. Not any stat items really to work with either. Yeah, and there's that helm now for G. The only imagine if he had that, he probably would have lived. One creep making the difference. So we approach 7 minutes, top 3, all dominated by Radiant Side here in terms of the net worth. Followed up closely by uh, Eternal Envy and Arteezy, but then right up to the Darks here too, so VP looking very strong already. Yeah, Dude, Dyer's they seem to observe what. Price would most likely here get the spirit siphon off kinetic field. Not a TP though to get himself out of here. <laughs> He's on the run. Uh, <laughs> They're pinging Puppy to make the rotation at the same time. Top lane to get the kill on Yoku, but Puppy will find no fear. He has the points into the Malthus. Doctor and Enigma in one game. Every cast is nightmare, but Maldick the Malthus really uh, know oh. which one's which is in the team fight. And this time Maldick not going to be. Malthus not gonna be oh. enough. <laughs> I swear I didn't do that on purpose. Get away. Setting up for two, but Nofi is somehow able to just waddle his way out of there. Yes. Damage for level one maledict. Malthus, goddammit! Yeah, two. see, I told you, man. This uh, happens, but. Goddammit! Wait for it comes out, it's easy, it's fine. Let's just play ball, though, again, for the spell names being so similar. Radiance middle tower is this under though, attack. for Bola, that's a 4 angel stack. He's kind of the only one who can take it reasonably, right? Yeah, yeah he's got 3 points in the anchor smash too, so... He generally, like, level 6 is going to be good, he can go, like, uh, 0, 2, 4, 1. That'll be relatively quick from him to down. Not quite with Doom just yet, now he gets replicated up. Yep. A little bit of extra safety to the TV, I suppose. Um, the Don Alchemist, some stacks for him as well here in the Radiance of Jungle. Did, did you get there. quieter? Uh, uh, I know, oh, okay. Maybe I'm crazy. Don't worry about it, you're. <laughs> Alright, Yoku's still battling up with Eternal Envy. It's gonna be a tough one. Oh, bottom lane, the lower down, we're gonna go with the wraparound. Pops the ultimate, it gets actually the kill onto Bulba. Might be able to TP out with Maldex on top of him. Um, someone was the correct spell name, okay, so. We'll just take out that plus the exorcism being committed. Radiant. think about the this mask of madness for the, for the Osa. Uh, pretty good early aggressive build. Take down that uh, Tidehunter early on. It did work out, so I had to pay with his own life, obviously, with that rotation. 
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. This is an end. They should still be able to pressure this, right? I mean, catapult's still here, and we can blast it to be quick about it as the Dexter comes down, but he grabs it and goes up. Yep, fine. So, armlet and 1300 gold. What a hero. You know, 5700 here, and there's the first rose for VP. Sneaking in there. Not really, I don't think this smoked. I mean, this is what you expect, right? It's gonna be very difficult yeah. to contest the first rush. Head over to VP. Especially without the exorcism. Both yeah, the rabbit shield has been used as well down in the bottom lane, so it's actually a very easy one. Update it and see what it stays that way. Lots of gold hunting his way, too, to head in towards that uh, blank dagger. Oh, yeah. Ball dance will do the aggressive with that Mask of Madness and just. Ideally, you just want to force out the bad Ravage, right? Like, have your own rage up, you jump on top of Bulba and be the first one in the fight so that Ravage can't catch more than near Ursa. And then from yeah. there, the fight gets more difficult for Secret. It's hard to land a good Black Hole, it's hard to find the good uh, early damage and a lot of procs up on your Spirit Siphon in terms of like getting a lot of people at once. Ravage is really going to be that core spell for them. Oh, wow, TZ up top, looking to go on, and TP comes in. Wait for out, they get the gloves back though, into the doom available, or just a static zone for now. And they just use both to make sure. The crucial pickup here, they haven't accounted for him. Uh, TZ not with the best amount of farm. But he was starting to be left alone up there with all the rotations coming through. Yoku trying to make something happen elsewhere on the map as well. Oh lord, I'm oh, the Pops the ultimate, maybe a little bit late, tries to TP out. Oh, he might there. live! He might live, he should live. Yeah, okay. Not enough nice damage, play. it was only, yeah, only level 1, my predicts. Not that crazy just yet. Yeah, with the Mask of Madness uh, active, I thought maybe it was gonna be... But they immediately drop a smoke, so they're looking to get aggressive here, handle off to the Ursa, and they will come on into that dire side jungle, more than likely. Still FNG and Yoku here, putting pressure up top, they will see the Adelons. It's gonna bend it for now. I really like these Observer Wards though, up on the dire side. This one just blocking out the camp, trying to uh, keep the jungle farm a little bit lower for Puppy, who is yet to pick up something big. Went for the Ogre Club first. What's that gonna turn it into? Just straight up BKB? Yeah, I think so. Ah. You only have the Doom to cancel it, so. Other than I that, it'll be like vacuum yeah. and static storm and everything else, right? So, I think yeah. that's. Especially if you have Titan on your team, we can go for the back in this build up now. Yeah. Especially with the ancient farm that you can fall back on, so yeah, it does make sense. Envy and Yoku, they're still right next to each other when it comes to damage to heroes. Still 12 minutes ago. This little change once the. once Naxi comes in with kind of a vacuum wall combo there. Uh, potentially. It could also change the first big fight, Envy dish out a shit damage with Spirit Siphons and yeah. Curse Storms and just like, <laughs> completely well. outpace him, so... We'll see. Two minutes left in the Observer count, it looks like FNG has, uh, conquered this one here. I love dying. FNG? It hasn't updated in the... Is, does do both of them have five now? Is that what, that's what's going on? Oh, there's our flank there, but okay. mid lane. Trying to let me bring on top of G. He's got the ultimate going though, and it's in from the Ursa. See if he can turn around here. But everyone's seeing me in here. Eternal enemy caught in front. Let's see Ursa there. Stacks the map. Now the static storm kind of get get Kala die. Ah, Tz gets hit with a doom. This is disastrous. He put for Team Secret. Strength morph is not enough. Look for more. They still have the glimpse available. Just needs some vision there onto Pala die. It is now. Back towards the tier 1 town. I'm gonna cast the people out for probably a little bit longer. Oh, the rabbit Dragon plays here. Lower dance, that's the ages only. It's all the right left. This is worth the black hole for somehow. sure. It is. They also have the rabbit here in the back line. Second up a little bit in front, just making sure the rest of the VP can help out their buddy. Yeah. That was Get a nice play to make sure it can yeah. get cancelled by the vacuum. It was a bit odd the pilot I survived there. It was just a cast. None of the four heroes that was circling around him like vultures could actually do anything. So, Santa is a really disastrous fight, fight again. but now the radiance Gee, is done. I don't concussion. think he'll go in, will he? Way too risky. With his ultimate timing out as well, just trying to go down some spells to get rid of the creeps to get the secure tower tonight. There will be good. <coughs> we'll be able to accomplish that one. 
So now it's stats, man. G is uh, really put on the pressure here. I'm going to try and create this map space, and at the same time, Aloha Dance needs blinking, smoking, smacking. What they're doing right now. Doom not up for another minute, but the stack storm's up in three. Find the glimpse play. And this will be where they have to fight, and it's right under a tower, so this is kind of risky. I'm just beyond it, though. Okay. Oh, Wes, I got it, pilot eye. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> we yes. did it. We did it, Reddit. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the fact he doesn't have the Yules and he's going for that Veil first can help with the damage overall, but, again, no save potential up against something like that Ursa Blinken, and... Yeah. I guess I... underestimated. I was envi I was envisioning some sort of a Yules play for some reason, but obviously that is not there. So Envy just gets blown up. Yeah, we little glimpse. Uh, oh, he drops Static Storm too, unfortunately, so... Alba. I guess he probably would've went down to a Law Dance. The Mass Madness was about to back up, so yeah. of course the TP. It's also it's not log this cooldown, so it just means that they have to be a little bit safe and farm up their own jungle so that it comes with cooldown before you really pressure another tower. Even at tier 1 mid, by the being very low, so it's... I think this is the time to actually... Yeah. It's time to actually go, because Black Hole as well as Ravage are still in cooldown for quite a bit. Actually, Black Hole obviously being one of the longest cooldowns of the game. Sweet. Yeah, there's uh, actually, yeah. there's a little bit of like each team having some of that pressure and burden, right? Uh, Irtz is building into the Lincoln Sphere, so he's definitely not yeah, looking to join into any sort of big fights right now. Yeah. Trying to get up in towards that E Blade in the end, but the uh, the other pressure being the Alchemist here for E building up towards that Mantis style. I uh, of the Asha, I'm gonna guess, or no, it's his recipe for his bots. I ain't finished those up quite yet, so he's not massively had only about a 4K lead, and then followed up by his own Ursa and Darks here, so. Massively ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's only 4k. It's not too Yeah, two, two is on teammate though, compared to RTZ. I, yeah, yeah that's true. Tempers. I mean, he's like doubling RTZ, but he's an alchemist. I mean, I have high standards yeah. for an alchemist. Okay. <laughs> high standards for a drop. I mean, a Sven could be at like 12k right now. I don't know. I expect a lot of the G. And he's still playing very well. I'm not trying to take anything away. I'm just saying it's not too cray cray. You know, there's no Manta Octarine oh, yeah. blown out or something here. Anyway, they're smoked up. They're ready. But yeah, they won't fight. They don't have the black hole for only for another couple of seconds though. Bubbles get the blink. And if VP time things correctly, then they should know that. Oh, well. they see this. Let him go. Game sense oh. there from VP. Seeing that coming. Lord Ant's still hanging around though, but unfortunately for him, not being picked off. Secret's still looking for something else. Towards the ancient area, towards the middle lane. This part is pretty obvious, right? It's pro something's probably going on. Oh, yeah. Rating side vision, uh, pretty lacking. They don't have any wards down in that whole top side of the map, just more focused down bottom. Good observers down here, but I'm not gonna be able to catch up the fact that Secret's inside shop, and so some nice wards get placed down. One there, one by the ancients, it's already active, so. Just kind of waiting, hoping that maybe there's a smoke plate currently going, because from their own vision, they also only see the Ursa, probably assuming the rest are smoked up here. Yep. But in fact, they are at bottom, just kind of hanging out the tower. They're going to bring down the Ursa and start heading in towards Roche. Perhaps maybe a little scout play in there to see if they're active. Timer now, it'll be- oh my god, 15 <laughs> seconds. If they find this Roche... Oh no. This could Kenrum, be a disaster. They shouldn't Earth. say they do snack that they're kangaroo, but they want to find a kill previously. And the other enemy didn't look at it. Just be instantly taken out of the play. Now look for more glimpse play on the top of here. Could be a secondary casualty for the kinetic team keeping in. Bulb over the route of way, way too late. Oh no. Down. A third kill. Secret. VP Dolores. Yeah. Strong map movement coming up from there. Just completely maneuvering around Secret. I mean, they can just head right into that tower, they can press the Roche Pit next, if they, uh, unfortunately they don't have any way to scout it, like, no global abilities or anything, and no illusions up yet for G, but... I'm sure they'll check it, assuming knowing how important it is for the Ursa. Right now, though, it's kind of a... a not-looking gift at all to the mouth, they just get these three few pickoffs, and they take their chance, just putting on a lot of pressure here to the racks, as soon as they can. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. Tried to get the Alchemist Illusion, and it's been denied too, and... In just a couple of seconds after we're up, High ground, 700 damage down or so to the tower. They're gonna be happy with that. Ravage on cooldown. EP being shut down again. Yeah, they. I think they just scouted out. <laughs> scouted out now, perhaps. 
You're making a way in, but Secret should also know that this is a possibility of being up, so they're setting up Bronze Forge, but they still have that black available. Yeah, pretty fortunate for them that VP didn't manage to go in there. And yeah, they get the pressure on that mid tower, but I feel like their momentum could have been progressed further by going in towards that Roshan pit. Just no. it was very unlikely that it would have been ready by now, so understandable at VP in the play they did make. But that's easy now into that Lincoln Sphere. It means that Doom play won't be quite as easy. To survive if he gets static storm potentially, but it is more than likely I guess he won't get right. Yeah, that's actually one of these nerves that the Doom had when they reworked his uh, gave him the Infernal Blade. Yeah. Being attack and attack modifier doesn't trigger Lincolns, whereas the level dev did. So without building something like a four staff or something silly like that, he doesn't actually have a way of triggering the Lincoln himself. He's gonna need some of his, one of his teammates to do that for him. And that can be the bling, the thumb strike from the disruptor, concoction perhaps from the alchemist. All of that isn't particularly fast, which means that a TZ should always have enough time to see with the Lincolns. Uh, to zip to out his rabbit, unless it's like Snow comes out that you were mentioning. Oh. And they're scouting out that road trip, their alchemist. <laughs> There's a the little morphling play that you'll see sometimes, unfortunately, die. Yeah. You talk. I heard you like illusions, so I made an illusion of your illusion. Gotta get that Radiance dog. Yeah. But top lane, they bring down the Doom. They're starting to wiggle their way in here. Knowing that Arteezy was in the pit, Radiance side like, this up, but obviously very difficult for them to take on the dire side. The exorcism not gonna be easy. As Envy, what did he just buy? Ghost Scepter? Yeah. Well, that's gonna be nice for him. Can't really hey. afford to go for the Yules, but this will be the same kind of idea. Oh yeah. Up against the the Ursa, we've seen it time and time again. It just gets annihilated in a couple of swipes. But now the not even like a smoke. Go straight in. This could be huge defense for Secret if they can find the angle to go in. They see that this is going on. With the Crimson Swarm. They're gonna spacing for the Ravage though. Yeah. Yeah, all they need is the Ursa in here. Oh, this BKB from Puppy though, this could be item! Oh, this could be. I have to group up a little bit, I still have to do available, gonna get it on our TZ before the link. That's the link to your top of BK! Get a pretty hero, see it's not a stack, so Bulba swallowed for the Ravage at the end of it all, G! Not able to really stop it, Yoko! Still alive though, gets a little bit of a combo off, and Lodez goes right back with the Aegis! Gets his revenge on the Poppy, Eternal Anthony, still doing some damage with the Exorcism, but not enough. Neither does Silent Eye with Zone Ultimate from the high ground as G does track him down. Eternal Anthony is on the run. She almost he gets a lower dance. But the Exorcism is taking him out. Gonna be a 3 for 3. A lot of ultimates committed, but the Aegis has been taken away straight off the bat. There was the Bivax involved there as well, weren't they? Uh, no Bivax. But no. they weren't, okay. DZ did end up surviving that. So much gold for uh, Envy too, though. 1,642. Oh man, that was so crucial. G didn't have another Kukar, she needed to kind of keep him with Strax to take over for uh, for the Ursa, so Lodan just went in a little bit too ham. And uh, that was unnecessary, I think. Pretty important fight for them as well. Uh, they can slow down some of this progression from VP and also help their Death Prophet catch back up, so great pickup, uh, a very important item. Yeah. Ghost Scepter for Envy that we talked about, the BKB. A really nice stack sort of coming out, making it difficult for the Secret to actually capitalize on it. Like, I mean, it was a split yeah. second that it almost cancelled the black hole itself, but... And the BKB oftentimes was nice from Puppy, but it was hard for the allies of Secret to actually get in there and get that additional damage on the heroes trapped inside. Um, just allowed for the nice Ravage follow-up, but Aloha Dance was still able to clean a couple of kills post-Ravage, so... That ends up trading it relatively evenly. You know what Back the worst to... part is? What's that? Oh, Yoku might just die up the top here. Uh, and it should be a silence. Server. But yeah, the worst part is, Poppy is actually leading in predictions now uh, for the highest amount of magical damage still. 0.8k, just with a single black hole essentially, plus the. Uh, plus the. Yeah, the that pure pulse. damage, dude. The Midnight Pulse. To yeah. even level 1, too strong. And Pilot Eye having his own Ghost Scepter. Eh, it's okay this game. It just means like additional casks, really. It's not gonna let him get his ultimate, I don't think. Yeah. Um, no, Ursa's yeah, not, not gonna be the main be. reason that gets can Gold for me. If you think about it, there's plenty of magical damage to just bring him down as well. Even with the ghost step, just because he's still squishy, even the radiance is gonna burn through him pretty damn quickly. And not to mention the iron shell if it gets close to him. On scorched earth, all these will start to amplify a little bit by that. So, it'll, it'll stop that initial burst uh, if Ursa jumps on top of him. Not only until the lower down to stop the refusal bait, which I think should be his next item now. 
Be interested to see what uh, what all these next items are, though. Yeah, this will be definitely solid. Uh, FNG's build should be kind of cool, right? He's already got the Vlads and the Blink, kind of standard stuff. Some Doom switching over to the Shadow Blade a lot of the time instead of the Blink. Finding it hard to get that Blink onto the actual uh, Doom. Damn you, puppy. God damn it. <laughs> Big red incorrect, but I think Team Fight was all they needed. Uh, yep. So I'll see maybe like a Shiva's Guard. Probably not the best thing in this game. Lotus Orb not really doing. Eh, actually, Lotus Orb is kind of good against the Morphling. Let's see. Good against Silence as well from Death Prophet just to. Head away, yeah. perhaps from one like a crucial target, maybe, maybe just a dark sea as well. Wow, envy going but for the value gonna... build here. Oh, wow, is this is like full starvation right now, or is this just it's Actually, more survivability, I suppose, right? Up against the Ursa, yeah. knowing that he's gonna be that key target every single time because our TZ is just too slippery, and then yeah. Bulba is not like post Ravage, guys, but Bulba. Oh, bottom lane. Nice play there to cancel that link. Okay, so Coming up from the it does them. cancel the link against this, uh, this infernal blade. I spoke wrong earlier. Gotta get the Ravage to cancel the TP and also get Milpy in the back. Static Storm not enough to zone him out and I might be able to get F G in the back line. He's quite tanky but not tanky enough. Teezy comes in to snack the kill for himself. Hey, you're not wrong. Infernal blade doesn't cancel, it was the glimpse. It was a glimpse, okay. Never mind. Yeah, no, don't, don't worry. That, that was like mm, Almost correct. looked like it, but yeah. It's just... A bit insecure, I'm sorry. <laughs> These kind of mechanics <laughs> questions, but yeah. It's... Don't worry, I'll flame you when you're wrong. All right. Yeah, uh, oh, it takes down that top to tower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that'll be the Octarine core now finished up for him as well. So G has hit critical mass. Yeah, the only thing left will be that last item, be it the AC or the Shiva's Guard, depending on what's more appropriate for your game. This game, probably going to be AC, just because Ursa's never going to buy one, Darkseer's not going to buy one. He could be more so like that Shiva's Guard purchaser after the Crimson Guard, and the uh, AC going to be very helpful up against that Exorcism, so... Imagine that'll be his final item, and then we get into the Aghanim Scepter purchased up for the Disruptor, and then... Not too good against Doom... Or this game it's okay just for the increased duration for like the sustained fights whereas like some like death prophet or morphling if they get doomed they like to like linger around and then come yeah. back in maybe not so much more definitely the tp or the tie this... too can be another huge one yeah. that's oh, yeah. fusel blade that you were talking about the blade for the yeah yeah when it comes to scepters on the side of bp it's probably disruptor because oh essentially... ursa too actually i forgot about that one oh, yeah right ursa Right, yeah, it would be like Disruptor then Ursa. The stun, so it's probably even more important than Disruptor. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's pretty damn close because what the act and Disruptor essentially does is turn a static storm into an AoE doom. Can't do anything, can't use items, can't use spells. Well, there's our E Blade. The item has a beard here for our TZ. Where's his E Blade arms though? Like, he's got the helmet. What a, what a one-dimensional hero when two of his biggest <laughs> cosmetics look like the item that he buys. <laughs> like... That looks, looks nice. All he has. Dyer's Crown of Tears. Attack up as an immortal weapon, it's not even helm or something. Oh, I had to scare. Hello. Please. So what about our Ursa here, anyway? A minute and 40 Dyer's seconds about? Gonna be the next uh, next objective here. Just once again go for the road pit. Yeah. If uh, VP can find a good moment through the split pushing, where like there's a a bad split from secret, they can pressure that last tower. It'll be even better. But for now, the Eidolons are keeping a from puppy. It looks like FNG might be building in towards that Lotus Orb. We'll see. I'm not sure if he has anything on the courier quite yet, but um, uh, yeah, it's the Crimson plan. Guard's done for Yoku. BP, Dark quite builds, well. man. Yeah, 15k ahead in terms of net worth, obviously you have the Alchemist accounting for pretty much all of that. Still Interesting that, that uh, um, Yoku went for the Crimson Guard before the Guardian Greaves, just really showing the value yeah. of it this game. So he'll be getting to... I mean, look at that thing. 55 damage from each attack, 2 armor, last 10 seconds, pretty nice. Still not even that far away from the Guardian Greaves, which are still going to be super useful when... Silent kind of comes into play. Yeah, that's the thing. And it's a, it's a good one without guarding Grease. Darkseid gets hit by that, he can't get his combo off, and then they just die. Oh, Ag's number one. This is up before the big item. Huh. So that'll probably be Aloha Dance then. Yeah, that is. Yeah. That was kind of you indeed. Gives off all the sort that net worth, and you see the instant jump there. Aloha Dance's net worth. 
Huh. Interesting that they're going to value that over some of the PAC, kind of insinuating that um, they're more so looking for that fight right now, I guess, right? I think, I think it's really good. You can still get through the black hole, right? They saw Pilot die. They just saw uh -huh. the ask. They know they're here. They're going to front for it. the RTZ. Might be looking to burrow them up. There's this eternal enemy with the ultimate G. Looking for target to... Oh, nice static storm, yeah. Uh, catches up easy. Back up, back up. Hubby dies immediately with the BKB pump. RTZ tries to... Off his way out of this, gets glimpsed back into the fray. Uh, should be morphing quite enough. Eternal Envy still causing some problems now. No fear with the Crimson Guy. Oh my Keeping God, alive God, a little God. bit longer, but he should be end up falling. Two for one trade so far as Bullman ended up falling as well. In the beginning of the fight, they're still tracking down Altizi. Yoko with a blink forward in front of him. Strength Those was ghosts. real, but doesn't have a whole lot available there. A whole lot left available, it doesn't matter as FG Joker don't quite have the damage, but damage is back. Look for Eternal Envy. He's left alone by the rest of the team. No scepter or solar crests. None of that matters. Four people are around you, smacking away. In mean, that month of Roshi and only 40 seconds, so I'm not quite getting as lucky as last time. No, not quite here. And man, Pilot Eye actually made that fight way closer than I think it's. Uh, really nice plays there, just baiting up that alchemist for so long. He just led him around and around and around, and right up onto that high ground, and then before finally popping his ghost scepter, and then Jesus is like, "Well, shit, <laughs> didn't have the concoction left, beat out." So, yeah, okay. Uh, I gave a chance for them to get away, uh, really saving Arteezy, but not quite enough to save Envy. Didn't go for any sort of a uh, a TP plays. He didn't have one, unfortunately, so couldn't go you know, ghost scepter and make the play out of there. So no more creep available. So this two will also keep. Still stand. Roshan's coming back now. Zodan's so gonna get to work on that right away. Keep making sure the prediction uh, is correct there, so I get three out of four at the very least. That would be nice. They're paranoid. <laughs> they think that they might be smoked up here. Yeah. That's, now with the still black up. hole. Yeah. Titehunter and Puppy died so early, the black hole and Ravage is still available. There's no exorcism for another 30 seconds though, so it might give secret pause but just committing into a team fight this early, but still. It'd still be disastrous. Yeah, wise play oh, yes. by them to back away. Especially because the positioning RTZ was in, it wasn't oh, the oh, Just blinked in there, the smoke will be revealed. Secret, and quite finding the right position. Yeah, bad though. fight. Oh, Dan, see those was up. X is in back in one second here. Uh, they, they, they saw it turn to come in here, didn't they? They might, that's gonna be a good bait, a good way to start for Seek actually. All grouped up now, the back lines on the high ground. BP. A little bit lower, they have to jockey for a better position. Send they might think illusions. someone's in here, because the Roche didn't come out, but yeah. it doesn't end up mattering to send in the illusions. Little spot out to turn on no, no smoke here, anything inside the secret. Yeah, look at this. Oh, no, the BP. stun! The centaur just stopped their TPs! What? It just got cancelled by the centaur! So, oh my what? god. What? The morphling can't come back! <laughs> what Puppy's got matter? a TP! Oh, this is so great. Puppy TP. They saw that now. Hello, oh, Adam. What are you so confused with not turning around on the And we back you back as the snipes one comes out. That ultimate will be wasted. Puppy with a doom cannot get his PKB off into the stun from G. Should be another death here. Pilot I unable to help on his body as he tries to clean up someone on the backlands for the kinetic field. Uh, gives Nofi enough space for a TD before to get the hell out. Bull Bulba trying to TP. Barely be able to as a concoction will follow him all the way back to the base. This is a, some really good movement for VP. And they kind of bribe the center force as well. Kind of nuke the creeps to help them out a bit. Wow. Even without that, they would just wait for that, right? They'll wait for a TP to come in to the middle lane. Then they went for the wraparound here towards the tier 2 and. Uh, catch anyone off guard that would make the way on foot in the back lines. Honestly, again, it's just VP, like, better map movement this yeah, whole exactly. game. That's kind of in the story. It's not like they're outplaying them that much during team fights. I mean, they are, but most part, it's just been positioning, which is something that I think typically they don't get enough credit for as a squad, right? So they're kind of team that you look at and you say, like, oh, they're all out of aggression and that's how they win Dota, right? Yeah. <laughs> Spirit Breaker, but for the most part, they've just been playing Secret like a fiddle, using this Alchemist yep. to manipulate the lanes how they'd like, and all of that revolving around the Roshan. Once more, we'll be going over the VP, so apologies yep. if you guys were foolish enough to listen to me on that uh, Rush prediction. <laughs> uh, we right are now, four again. I think I can 3 out of 4 in every single game now, so, so, thus far, which is a good quarter, I think. 
<laughs> pretty good, pretty decent, you know. Yeah, pretty good. There's okay. our Shiva's guard now from F and G as well. That transforms that to mail into something more useful. Yeah, okay. Stopping for that comeback roll. potential. Is there any stopping VG right now? I mean, look at Alchemist. He's back at 28k gold. Does have that AC now? Can easily go to the next Agnum Scepter for the Disruptor. Um, don't have a BKB on your course. T uh, actually, Atizi has a good stun line, but I don't think Atizi can win this game for them. It's a single target hero after all. One lane Auto. racks down versus the Alchemist, too, who's just like, yeah, he's a hero that people pick first up, but that's for like before 25 minutes. Uh, after 35 minutes, this magical burst damage, you know, that's not what you need. RTC needs to get into that next stratosphere of Morphling Hero, where you're yeah. just right-clicking for a ridiculous amount, and he's getting there, but still a ways to go before he's actually that terrifying, right? Like, maybe yeah. like a Scotty or something. A little bit of extra control and damage added on. Speaking of control, lower dance. Crucial item there, that's Scythe of Vyze. It's a classic. Quite nice. Yes, this, uh, as this diffuse blade charge is running low, we can still upgrade that, of course. But yeah, it's side well, wise, the hex just prevents the, uh, the ghost hunt from coming out in the first place. And we saw Alliance in a similar position earlier today, down up against Team Secret, in fact, and they were able to hold for much longer than you would have thought, considering the net worth disadvantage they were at, thanks to having these big AOE team fight abilities. And now yep. this time, rather than the Magnus, it'll. The Enigma and the Tidehunter and the refresher done on the Bulba means they can simply win one big fight without a question. Oh yeah. Uh, what matters is how many heroes you get in that Ravage though. Can you get a full five man wipe to actually bring back a size amount of net worth or do you only get two or three, they back off and they get right back when everything's on cooldown. Yep. So how can you bait them in? How can you find that good spot? Is it going to be a smoke out into the jungle? Dire side. Uh, there's there's always the scariest thing when you draft a lineup like this that's really centered around these big cooldowns. If you don't get it... If you don't win the team fight, even if you win a team fight, if you don't win it well enough, it's still gonna bite you in the ass because you're not gonna be able to repeat that generally. This kind of situation, so absolutely right with that. Yeah, and then, uh... playing it safe, they're trying not to get them, let themselves get into a position where that's even an option for secret. So they're gonna have to go for a subpar initiation. They want to get get anything done and prevent any sort of damage coming out. The gem is really important here too. Uh, for no fear, just allowing them to close out, make sure these plays aren't possible. And uh, that next Aghanim Scepter gets passed on over to no fear. Dying just a moment here. And he will oh. be the terrifying disruptor. Hex onto Atizi and trying to bring him down, not quite enough damage on lower dance. I'm willing to commit a little bit, oh, uh, willing to commit that much deeper. Uh, he did a thousand damage, a thousand health damage. Bad of like two seconds. That was without the ultimate. I think if you pop the ultimate there, you could have, would have had that extra damage to where it could work. Yeah. We'll have no foul, I suppose. I think I, in the end, RTC can just like wait out on the uh, blade, though. So he won't die to Ursa. He just bleed himself. Yeah. I think he's sexed up, though. Plus, that's true, that's still... true. I, I guess there's Lincoln's here. The Fusil has a cooldown now, doesn't it? Two seconds, yeah. Oh yeah, we're not on the zero anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that was exciting. Good times. <laughs> people were complaining about uh, people that were using quick cast were complaining that they wasted TP's blade charges because of it. It's fun. Right. Disrupt has that axe, the AoE Doom is online. Oh damn, it's very hard to actually lock down because of his axe. I don't know, I don't see this graph heading uh, in a southerly direction no. anytime soon. <laughs> it's just going up and up and up, and they're just not giving them the opportunity. VP doing a good job here. Not falling into the trap of the AoE. Maybe no. if they could get any sort of a split push game going with like an Aegis Prophet down bottom. Like the Illusions are doing their best trying to push it in, but you can't actually have that like hero up on the base. Doesn't seem, but that's totally how you want to approach something like this, right? You yep. want that like clinks or nature, but someone that can power five or six times and blink back and out. Just not a hero for that. Uh, you can, yeah, that you can set the solutions, but it's, yeah, they're not going to be like, so slow. You can't do that when you have the next Aegis though on. Actually, this Aegis, which is just expiring, so a lower dance. Would have been the option, right? But with a creep that's dying that quickly, it's, it's a little bit tricky. So, 
thing is, you see a way for Seiko to come back into this, because I don't think Death Prophet being that far behind. Even with all these defensive items, Eternal Envy just keeps getting picked off at the beginning of the fight and cannot really get back since his damage done, which is the one avenue for him to have any sort of impact now. Yeah. Not just, easy in the yeah. game. We look at the top five of the net worth. Okay. <laughs> Four of those five there, there's a dude on up VP there. and God. <laughs> he's about to get even further than Arteezy actually. Uh -huh. One of them is, whoever he ends is uh Aghanim's over to. <laughs> Who do you give it to? The Doom? I actually like the Doom better than the Darkseer. I feel uh -huh. like it's gonna do more work. Because you're in the fountain too, so you yeah. can just run the Doom up to the fountain and make sure that they uh, can't escape the Doom timeout. Yeah, so oh, yeah. just hand off to him. That's so good actually. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets an egg. That's all you have to say, man? Just thanks? He hands you 4200 gold. He puts you above the enemy Morphling and it's just thanks? I mean, that's oh. an option that's available on the all chat, or like the chat wheel. Clearly that's not oh. enough of a uh, emotional sentiment here to really thank someone for getting eggs. Well, considering the type of hero that he is, the fact that he's saying thanks... That's true. Thanks. He's like, he like an infernal hell lord. The fact that he's saying thanks in first place... Uh, that's almost like an additional weakness, like that he is appreciating someone else's input. As he should be like the eternal mass or whatever. Not too certain on the law, but hey. We are getting way too many lopsided games that don't end soon enough today. Because right. this is like the fourth <laughs> time we've ended up with something <laughs> like this. Stupid shit like that, yeah. But hey, once again, tune into the drop reject type of rejects. That's what you're gonna get. And we're not rejects anymore. Valve invited us. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're like, we're on top tier, man. Did it. Living. I know, I'm still waiting on my first land. <laughs> True. Uh. Oh, here we go. Secrets play. The smoke up. Radiant Vision, not inside. Decent push here. Arteezy. See if he's the one that has the sacrifice, but he'll have that illusion running alongside the rest of the team so he can pop on in. And they need something big. Loha Dance would be nice. Could be big. Yeah, Loha Dance. He can't rage up the monster if he does. Oh, what a black hole. Just yet, follow Ravage, and this will do the trick. Two heroes down. Use everything down. This is comes back to the problem that we talked about earlier. No black hole for 165. No double Ravage for 140, Not 180. They only got the two. I mean, it's it's, it's Ursa, right? But I think he comes back. Four. Yeah. Honestly. Sushi comes back. G is still alive and kicking. And now. VP can feel much much safer going into a high ground push once these heroes are back on uh, back online. Even the next ages, one and a half minutes. But top lane G finds Pilot Eye. Free pick off as well. <laughs> he doesn't even know going, he's still hitting so hard. Yes. He got some wards down though. Uh, got his yep. job done. To more just like seconds till he respawns. Six wards by 15 minutes. Just keep trying to keep the quarter up. No. Secret. They're 2 and 0 right now. Might be a 2 and 1 still. Unless they can have a miracle happen to them. Last eggs here. <laughs> well, G. I would sooner so put this on myself as the alchemist. Than <laughs> like, it's more so for the stats on the Darkseer than it is the actual ulti. Like, who is really benefiting? There's no good right clickers. It's not yeah. like the Ursus is on the enemy team, you know? Like, I'd be, I'd be giving this to myself no. almost. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? It's the increased damage dealt by the illusions. And like, yeah, right now his illusions just aren't even that scary. Although 140 is pretty. So I guess if you get a good morphing illusion. Like, he's sitting for a decent amount right now, actually. Almost 300. 140% of that. Next extra hero and a half on your team, so... Aegon, just munching away at the racks here, has no fear in the world, can buy that TP in, probably... Yeah, he needs a little bit more gold, actually. So... Only the Surprised they're not now. just... I guess they're waiting for the next wave, but... It's definitely Bottom time lane. to commit fully. Yeah. Bottom lane is pushing in, but I don't think they're too worried about that. On any peril without heroes pushing that down as well. Oh, took too long, so the Ravage now back up as they have the timers going next to their computers and everything here. Back away and head into the Roche Pit. And that does mean that we'll have BK, or rather the, uh, the Black Hole and the Ravage by the time they can get there. Yep. Unless Ursa magically appears in the pit in half a second. Gold and 
One second of BKB, 30 seconds of double ravage. Still, I'm still waiting to see VP pull off one big team fight with all five heroes though. Because that's something that was not happening with, in that last pickoff. It's just gonna be a clash of the ultimate, it's really. I mean, with all these Agnum Scepters. Yeah. And so tanky now too. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> VP. <laughs> I think the disruptor, yeah. the stack stomp is going to be the biggest thing here for VP. Just getting, the, getting that down, even just as a zoner, right? Just but ideally you want to grab the Enigma and or the Titan to that before Enigma pops the BKB. Even then Doom's probably going like, to come out on him too. Um, double Doom now. Oh god. BKB on F on G, and they want to end this game now. What is he going to replace? Grab some buyback though for Alchemist. Farm up a little bit longer. Yeah, he's, he's going top. I should do the trick. What am I missing? What was he holding that wasn't AV? Um. Omnits still, maybe? Oh, was, I guess it must have been. Yeah. yeah. I think it was still the Omnit. He would have ditched it by now, but he's a you know a very generous elf. I mean, he gave away an eggs before he even had an AC. What a guy! Yeah. So you can definitely see why. Right? Available. I mean, yeah, a lower dance. Even if he got caught with the black hole, I think he could still pop the ultimate, and then you don't take any damage. So let's see why they did that. But now, slow siege is on. Only the illusions. G himself making his way up there too. And buyback with the trouble in. Obviously, you don't want to pop your combo on just a single hero that can do that. Yeah, and this is safer to do with the Alk, too. Like, he does enough damage to the tower that, and he's so tanky that it's so difficult to... You can't bring down without the combo, but rather than doing this with the Ursa, where they'd almost, like, be worth using a Black Hole or something to kill him. Yep. Yeah. With the Aegis, though? I don't know. Uh, I oh, mean, well. hopefully you can get him once without it, but... <laughs> seems unlikely. Game is hard at the very least here, they're gonna go again for the range rack just to save damage. What about that is? The Rapids number one, second ever rash, best black hole, perhaps coming out, Gene taking enough damage there, and it's black hole. Only one now finding another one because it finds his way. As Alchemist can level push the drone in if they want to commit for it, although that's they should get a kill and now he will lose the ages too. There it is, Yoku with the vacuum wall. And this is where Secret have to walk themselves out of there. No more black hole, second ever rabbit being denied by the doom. Eternal Envy is dead. With buyback, but without ultimate, Tyler and I are TD and dropping so, so low. All that VP need to do now is get rid of the racks. Oh, then it's just once more heroes, though. Just eating through Puppy. He might back once again. No ultimate. Doom has now worn off. Eternal Envy with a potential die. Then here's the Lord and pumps the BKB. Eternal Envy still has some side assistance. With the Octarine, secondary ravage quite ineffective. He thinks of BKB. One normal final die, vacuum on the puppy, you can get it closer to the fountain, not that it matters, it's a lower dance, he's still going strong, an ultra kill to end the game for him, unless he wants to turn it into a rampage, and it looks like they do, Bulba, it's gonna be it, Virtus Pro, and he can just eat a mango there at the end, <laughs> out of the secret fountain, what a player man, what a team, Virtus Pro. Dealing the first blow, first blow to secret here in the European qualifiers. Well, once again, another team who've come into this qualifier 